I should be able to change the images by turning the thumb wheels. Amazing! Now it shows the view from the terrace. probably develop Yunta's films and sent them back once they were done. Summer 1937. The year Dana worked here. Let's see. I filled my last diary last night. Ordered another one, but still waiting for supplies to be delivered to the refuge. Using an old envelope in the meantime. Today invited Dana for a chat after her shift. I'd like to know what Leon sees in her. I've never seen him so smitten. Thanks for popping up, Dana. How did the shift go? Fine, same as usual. Just finishing up here, then I'll make us a nice cup of tea. Wow, that looks futuristic. What is it? Ah, that little baby is my viewer. That's why it goes in the coffer. What does it do? I use it to put together and edit the rushes. The what? <laughs> rushes. In other words, the strips of unedited footage. I've finished today's selection, so be a dear and put it in the coffer, would you? I would if I knew how. Oh, just turn the key in the lock. Dana, 
Anna, be a darling and put the key somewhere safe. You can't be too careful with these mountain people, especially with that little Lenny sniffing around my equipment all the time. Where do you normally put it? I have a little hiding place over there. Is this where you want me to put the key? Yes, there's a dear. It's a handy hiding place. Who made it? Oh, Herr Gustav. He knows only too well that some customers have their little secrets, you know. Just need to finish preparing for the filming tomorrow. Then we can chat away to our heart's content. If you could just fetch me a new roll of film from the dark room, then we're done. Did you take this picture? Of course. How did you get to film them training? Oh, it was a commission. Lucky, really. Right place, right time kind of thing. Of course, I jumped at the chance because it meant I could film Leon in action at last. Here Gustav's radio. Looks like he customized it, probably to compensate for the wave disturbance due to the mountains. That's a lot of equipment you have there. If you don't mind my asking, how do you manage to pay for it all? Oh, that's easy. Especially when you know a few generous patrons of the arts, dear. And Herr Hurst, what's he doing with the Origin Expedition? Unfortunately, all scientific expeditions sponsored by the Brown Shadow come with a chaperone like him. There to make sure their funds are used as they see fit. In other words, that there is no divergence with regards to their ideology. How did you and Leon get together? I mean, how did you... We're just friends, if that's what you want to know. How did you get to film them training? Oh, it was a commission. Lucky, really. Right place, right time kind of thing. Of course, I jumped at the chance because it meant I could film Leon in action at last. I love your photos. Ah, well, they each represent an element of mountain wildlife and flora I've photographed recently. I use them as a sort of checklist. A checklist, huh? newspaper clippings mention the brown shadow. According to father, their influence is growing among the population. Now that I've had the misfortune of meeting Herr Huss here, I understand his concern. <laughs> 